What's up, YouTube? Coming at you from 20 minutes in the future here at STG Sound Labs. Going to bring you some cinema verite about the Switch module, which you might find educational and or informative. Um, the Switch is a, uh, a computer-controlled, four-input, four-output, sequential and voltage-controlled switch. has a 20-microsecond response on the sequential inputs. And um, also uh, features uh, four channels uh, from the uh, time divider module. Uh, so you hook the switch up into the sync bus and you can get some rhythms out of it. So that's the quick elevator pitch. Um, I, uh, I've made a patch on my synthesizer to show you um, mm, four different things that you can do with the switch. And my synthesizer is so big that I had to put the camera back like four feet away from it. So I'm going to have to point at it. Fortunately, I've got this, um, I've got this authentic, screen-accurate Seventh Doctor umbrella reproduction that I got about, I don't know, eight years or so with some, uh, like Bob Mitch made these for the live journal, uh, Doctor Who cosplayer for him. So anyway, so it'll be pointing. So let's uh, let's get this party started. I'm gonna hit the hit the start button with the umbrella here. All right. I think the filter could actually come down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Sorry if I was in a shot there for a second. Anyway, so uh, the first aspect of this sequence, if, if you can tell, it's like, it's 100 BPM, it's all made of uh, eighth notes, and um, what I'm going to do here is uh, step through some different elements of it, and I'm going to, yeah, so um, the primary pitch sequence is made from... Um, two separate four-stage sequencers, okay? One four-stage sequencer is this uh, voltage mini store here, okay? The other four-stage sequencer is <laughs> made up of this envelope generator going into this mixer, because I'm using the gate outputs from, see? See, it's moving down like that in eighth notes, okay? So this is a four-stage, sequencer now because I took the gate outputs and they're high for the whole you know hold on okay that's better okay so what I did was I, I, I used an envelope generator and the sidecar and a mixer to make a uh, four stage sequencer so you know I mean hey you know, when, uh, when life gives you lemons, like, you can use $700 worth of boutique synthesizer equipment to make perform a function that you can do with $300 worth of boutique synthesizer equipment. So, anyway. So, um, uh, that sequencer and that sequencer are switched by uh, this... This switch right here, okay? So one comes in this side and one comes in that side. Inputs one and two, okay? And now this sequencer right here that's moving in half notes, that controls which of the two sequencers you're hearing. So you're hearing this one one, two, three times, and then that one, okay? like that okay and then so this is sending voltage into the voltage control input of the switch here you could see the see the light move okay anyway uh, there's a bunch of other stuff going on here um, I got a bunch of uh, gates and I've got a bunch of clocks patched up uh, a couple rules I made for myself in this video was I was not going to use the 960 and I was not going to use my trigger sequencers. I was just going to use voltage sequencers, switches, oscillators, etc. Okay, so the rhythm 
is actually being generated by um, this. Uh, here, let me. Um, okay. Okay, so this, see this Mother 32 boat right here? I've got this Eurorack switch sitting in it, and that's performing the function of, uh, uh, of generating the rhythm. Now, you're just hearing eighth notes right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in camera for a second. I'm gonna make a patch that I've, I forgot to set something before I started this video, and then you'll be able to hear the whole thing. So hold on a second. Okay, so do you hear how on the fourth stage and the eighth stage, it's not an eighth note. On this stage, it's two sixteenth notes, and on this stage, it's three sixteenth triplets, okay? And you can see, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick the camera up right now. So things are, it's gonna get real verite here for a second, because you're gonna see the camera just kind of move around. You can see the camera move around. It's gonna be real shaky, real 90s, you know, like a, like some reality television, okay? Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some close-up stuff. I've got the, I've got my microphone on a, a Heil sound boom so that I can very easily position it wherever I want to be. Uh, but you're going to be presented with some really shaky video. I hope you don't mind. So down here, okay, so this is a mother, this is an empty Mother 32 boat. I just want to say, like, it would be really cool if somebody figured out a way to put Eurorack modules in this, but you know, that's a problem for some other time, right? Okay, so. We, I just have one sitting in here, and th this power cable is powering it, and then this sync cable right here is giving it sync, right? Okay, and that's coming from this system, okay? You can power, you can power, even though it's Eurorack, you can power this with 12 or 15. All my Eurorack modules can be set up for 12 or 15, okay, guys? So, and if you look here, okay, look, look at the LEDs. Okay, now I'm gonna move back to just so it's stage one again. So it's, so you're just, okay, now I'm gonna turn the voltage up. Okay, whoa, okay, so that's zero volts, I turned it off. Now I'm gonna bring voltage in. Eighth notes, 16th notes, 16th triplets, 32nd notes, and I'm gonna come back down to eighth notes. And then I'm gonna move the uh, length of that sequence. So the sequencer is now back in eighth notes and it's it's in phase with everything else. Okay, so uh, the next part of the sound. Next part of the sound is uh, over here. Um, the sound itself, okay. The sound itself is being made by um, okay, so we got two use cases of the switch already. Okay, a rhythm, right? And so that's generating a rhythm. And then this is actually sequencing the sequences. Okay, somebody asked me, what do, what do you use the switch for, right? On Facebook, they said, hey, Eric, what, you know, what, like, what, do, you, what do you use the switch for, suit and tie guy? Like, what, what would I do with this thing? And I was like, well, you know, you use it, uh, it's a, to, you, you sequence, you use it with a sequencer to sequence sequences. And I was like, whatever. Anyway, so there's we're sequencing sequencers with it. Okay, so over here we got. Um, okay, I got a sawtooth wave. Okay, that sawtooth wave is going. Well, it's going into this molt here. Okay, and it's going into a lot of places. But in, it's going up. And see this? This thing's lit up like a like a, a Mardi Gras a Mardi Gras tree or one of those like you know, semis, see all these lights are on? That's because this is moving really, really fast, okay? And um, this input is the sawtooth, right? But this input is uh, this, um, 
this oscillator, which is a completely different oscillator. It's synced to a sub-octave of that oscillator, okay? And then we're getting the triangle out of it, and I have the pitch, I have it cranked up in pitch. Um, and then what this switch is doing is it's doing something John Sonnenberg calls wave replacement synthesis, where it's one cycle you get the sawtooth, the other cycle you get that weird triangle. And the triangle is actually going into this mixer. is going into the mixer, right? And I've actually got the sound biased up, and it's also distorting. So what it looks like, I'm going to show it to you on the scope. More uh, handling noise, very verite, right? Okay, so. Okay, so. Do you see this? You see, part of the wave is like the triangle, and part of the wave is is, is the sawtooth. Now I'm going to change the pitch. I'm going to open this up. Actually, I'm going to open the filter up. And I'm going to turn. I'm going to I'm going to crank the pitch around. Okay, there's a little distortion in the recording there. Just bear with me for a second. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the filter back down. Uh, I also have the LFO out of the Equinox L uh, phaser going into the linear input of the dot com VCO. So I'm gonna turn that up. Okay. So now. Now you can see it's modulating. It doesn't really sound like anything in particular. I think it sounds pretty cool. Anyway, then the, so that's what this switch is doing. And then this switch right here, I have these four inputs are being fed by the four outputs of the Mankato filter. And so it's going 6 dB, 12 dB, 18 dB, 24 dB, uh, per octave cutoffs, right? And that's actually getting sequenced by the eighth notes. Okay. Okay, so... And then I also have it... This cable is resetting the, sequ the, the sequential switch every four bars. So watch the lights. See that? Okay. So that so I can uh, this the, the pattern repeats every four bars. Uh, this is three eighth. It's a three eight pattern. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a lot. In fact, I'm gonna even hit, go ahead and stop. So anyway, um, I um, I hope that was informative. As uh, those are four good reasons to own an STG Sound Labs. Uh, switch module. You can um, make rhythms with it. You can um, use it as a wave shaper, apparently. Uh, you can uh, sequence your sequences with it. And, uh, you know, you can also use it to select between different audio sources. I mean, uh, so anyway, thanks. Uh, have a nice day.